Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to show you the charging curve of the Renault Megane E-Tech 60 kilowatt hour. So uh, I had the car from Auto Sonnleitner in Regensburg. Thanks to them for giving me the car for three days. Link is in the description below. And um, I did 130 kilometers an hour range test and after that uh, I charged the car from 11% to 93% at Ionity. So I'm pretty sure it was a warm battery and this is the optimal charging curve there's always oops hit the <laughs> microphone there's always uh, uh, differences of course with temperature and how old the battery is and everything but it looks like a very good charging curve important you see the the the, the charging here and it, it uh, stopped charging at 45 percent because and it happened again on that day i went into the car and turned the ignition on because I wanted AC. So when you get out of the car to charge, uh, the car stays on. But if you press the, uh, when, if you're outside for a while and come back in and press it, uh, ignition turns off. Uh, 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 has to be turned on again. And I noticed uh, maybe I pressed the brake and turn it on, and then DC charging stopped. Maybe you just have to press on the power button and that's it and then everything's fine i don't know i just hit the cars uh, a car for three days but i only charged and then on that one day so it's possible that it's not a problem you just have to know don't touch the brake when you press the power button then everything works um hopefully so let's look at the charging curve here like i said i started at 11 percent um it right away it goes up to 126 kilowatt and then 127 what you see in here by the way is the state of charge to the right and charging power in kilowatt but it goes down right away and at 27 percent we reach 100 kilowatt and then steadily goes down even at 80 percent we have 42 kilowatt and at 88% it then goes down even more. Like I said, I charged to 93%. Important, what I noticed on that day, I plugged in at 46% again on a different charger, and I got the number, around the number that you can see here. So around 46, 47 kilowatt, it was at 81, but went down pretty fast. And and in for example, in the ID3 that I will compare the charging curve in a second, I have seen so when you have a charging curve from 10 to 80 percent and it shows that at 50 percent you get 65 kilowatt or whatever i'm just saying a number when you plug in at 50 percent you don't get 65 kilowatt i'm just saying that's what i noticed with my id3 but here with the two charges with the renault megan i saw that it did that very well but let's go and compare it to the id3 and here we have it blue one is the megan id3 is the red one and important this is the 58 kilowatt hour battery id3 so the pro and this is the uh, with id software 2.4 which gives you a better charging curve um and uh, old older ID3s built from summer 21 2021 already have this charging curve even older cars that were limited to 100 kilowatt get the better charging curve which only happens at 10 to 25 percent or so then the rest is the same um, get with the ID software 2.4 uh, so so you know that and as you can see it's yes the id3 is a bit higher here in the beginning up to what is that around 39 40 percent but then goes under it goes a bit up goes under it goes up again it's pretty much the same it's it's not too much of a difference um they they charge very similarly and uh that's cool uh, it should be a competitor for the id3 and i did that very well but let's look at something that's even more important and which is range added in time so here you have the time in minutes and range in kilometer added to the car i took the uh, average consumption that i had with the megan on the 130 kilometers an hour range test which was 217 but the car over uh, under reported the kilometers that it drove and it was more kilometers that i've driven and that's why the consumption is 212 some people disagree with that calculation <laughs> that's okay 
And when I did my test with my own ID3 at 130 almost two years ago, I had a lower consumption than 210 here, but my average speed was way lower and I have 19 inch tires on my car and uh, Megane had 20 inch tires and I don't know how much the difference is here in consumption to different tires. And as you see in the curve, uh, ID3 is red, Megane is blue. The kilometers added are more on the ID3 the whole way because the charging curve is a tiny bit better and the consumption is a tiny bit less. But how much is it? Uh, after 10 minutes, we added 79 kilometers in the Megane. And again, also here important, I started with the Megane at 11% and with the ID3 at 4 or 5%. So so in the ID3 especially, and I think in the Megane too, you have longer the 130 uh, uh, kilowatt of charging. So this curve would be even closer if I would have started at, with 5% on uh, at the same same time. But like I said, after 10 minutes, 79 kilometers in the Megane and 90 kilometers in the ID3, so 11 kilometers more. The biggest is, I think here, 169 after 28 minutes, 27 and a half, and 20 kilometers more in the ID3. So again, it's not that big of a difference especially like i said if you really start at the same maybe then it's just 10 or 15 kilometers and i think that's really good they both charge well for that segment uh, i was very impressed with the renault i will do a little resume video in a second that will also be up soon but I think that's it for me. Uh, great car to Megane, great charging. And of course, you have 22 kilowatt AC charging if you need it. That's awesome, of course, that ID3 could never give you. And if this is important to you, it's awesome. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.